I'm Gabrielle Smith, and today I'll be telling you what items your family needs to include in their kit, ranging from food supplies to water and comfort needs as well. The key thing to remember is to be prepared for the worst. First and most importantly, you need food and water for each family member. You should have one gallon of drinking water per person per day. So if you have a family of four, you should have somewhere between 12 to 28 gallons of water. For sanitation purposes, fill up your bathtub with water right before a storm hits to use for things like washing and flushing toilets. As far as food is concerned, you want to look for items that are easy to store, easy to prepare, and contain high energy and nutrition. And don't forget those special dietary needs as well as any food allergies when you're looking for those food products. Items like canned meats, tuna, peanut butter and jelly, granola, dried fruits, nuts, and crackers are great. You might also consider foods usually used for camping, such as freeze-dried or ready-to-heat meals. And be sure to have a manual can opener because power may be out for some time. And if you're planning on using your grill, don't forget to have an extra propane tank and or some charcoal. Remember to avoid foods that contain high salt, which will only make you thirstier. To conserve your water supply, you might want to stock up on some paper plates and plastic utensils so you don't waste that water washing your dishes. Next, we're going to be talking about your family's personal items, including infants, family members, and pets. For the entire family, there should be enough basic toiletries, such as toothpaste and toilet paper, to last the duration of the storm. For children, all the necessities, such as baby wipes, diapers, and baby food, should be stored in your kit as well. Elders should include all of their important medications, which also applies to anyone who takes a daily medication. Your pets are part of the family and should be included in your survival kit as well. Their items will consist of food, a favorite toy for comfort, and an extra package of medication since ticks and fleas will be in abundance during this time. And don't forget to include poop bags. Now, the next few items are going to be essential to your survival. You're going to want to have enough flashlights for each family member to feel comfortable navigating in the dark. Each flashlight size may have a different battery, so make sure you have enough spares. If you're worried about running out of batteries, I would suggest one of the hand crank flashlights. You crank it up, and then there's light. No need to worry about batteries. Also, make sure you have a portable radio, so that way you can keep up with those weather updates and any other news reports. And I know smartphones are a good way to keep in touch with the world, but those batteries aren't going to last forever. My advice would be to purchase an extra power supply that will recharge your phone and use the phone sparingly. Now fire extinguishers are important too and almost forgotten. Make sure you have two, one in the kitchen and in your garage. Lastly, but most important, you should keep all of your documents in a waterproof bag so that way they're kept safe in case there's flooding. These important documents include insurance cards, medical records, bank account numbers, social security cards and birth certificates, and documentation of all valuables. The list I've given you is the basics that your family will need to survive the disaster. You may need to add other items depending on your family's basic needs. The key, once again, is to plan now so that way you're prepared for when the disaster strikes. If you need more information or have any other questions, check out the emergency management pages. I'm Gabrielle Smith, and be safe this hurricane season.